Good evening, this is Scott Brasler with your KTC News Headlines for this Sunday, June 19th. A Saturday crash near Scott in Interstate 10 has left one person injured. Authorities say it was a single vehicle accident that involved a crane. The victim was pulled from his vehicle by a good Samaritan from Texas and because of those selfless actions, suffered only second degree burns. Redistricting the special session of the Louisiana State Legislature is over, but without a new congressional map in place. Now, the lack of action and agreement has drawn the ire of Governor John Bell Edwards, who says he's extremely disappointed in lawmakers. The next step is more than likely headed to the courts. And in the UL quadrangle, at the same time, Cajun Field, 19 bells rang to give an auditory salute and sign of remembrance to the significance of June 19th, Juneteenth, and how it changed the lives of so many in our country. That's a brief look at news. Bradley Benoit standing in front of the big map. Bradley, it's a hot one again. Yes, that's right, Scott. And we got some big time heat in that forecast, at least in about the next week or so. Here in Acadiana, mild conditions tonight. We'll see overnight lows dropping into the mid to upper 70s. That's where we'll start our Monday. And then another very hot one out there tomorrow. Temperatures upper 90s, 97 to 98 for that projected high. One or two isolated showers possible with the heating of the day, but uh, not overly likely as rain chances settle into that 10 to 20 percent range. That's pretty much how it's going to go for most of the upcoming week as a ridge of high pressure is going to take a hold of the forecast. So rain chance is only very isolated in nature and the heat's going to be on big time. Upper 90s, maybe even hitting 100 for a couple of those days and spots. We'll see, but bottom line, it's going to be hot, so make sure you're taking the heat seriously uh, and doing things like taking frequent breaks if you've got to be outdoors for an extended period of time and make sure you're drinking plenty of water as well. Well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update for now. For future updates, keep it tuned to TV3.